Hey gang, Gast here, giving you part five of Aether Raids Adventures. We are closing in on the final days of the Aether Raids week one. Uh, have some positive news for y'all. I got five defense raid victories in a row and two losses in a row and then another one over there. But check this out. Look at all these subs. One, two, three, four, five, failed one, got one, failed one, failed one. So I had a streak where I got five wins in a row and that's like really, I'm really, really, really proud of myself for that. So I'm excited to show you guys what happened. Uh, and we'll check this first one. I think this is one that stopped in like two, like two turns in. It was kind of a disaster. This guy, uh, yeah, this was the one that had like the weird, uh, like bow breaker, or whatever, and like a kind of weird darting stance too, Ike. Um, yeah, if you play it, I think it stops really quick. Um, I wasn't really sure what this guy was thinking. I think he was just kind of screwing around and then he died. <laughs> I don't know. I think he was trying to tank like the Jacob that I have. I don't think it panned out very well though, and then it stops here. Oh, I think they fixed the bug. Did they? Oh shit, they fixed the bug. Okay, perfect. I've never actually seen it this far before. So this is the this is the Jacob that had wary had had a had bold fighter and not wary fighter on, or uh, vengeful fighter. So that's that, and then everyone else is pretty samey. Uh, this is when uh, she had guidance, and then I took guidance out actually for a spur. So, but we'll keep going. I'm actually gonna turn I was turning animations on. I didn't know they changed the. Uh, they finally fixed the uh, glitch, which is perfect. Cause now I can actually see what's going on here. So they made the mistake of just having Ike try to bait and I guess didn't consider that that Loki was gonna be there. Uh, yeah, that'll do that. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Oh yeah, okay. It be like that. Oh, she's still living. Hey. But this is kind of looking like it's gonna become a timeout. Oh my god, yes. That's a kill. <laughs> yeah, they made a really bad mistake on that first one. I think that completely screwed them up. And then we just probably crush it. Yeah, Loki. I did it again. I think we get it here. Yeah. So they made that first, that big mistake with Ike. The festival begins. Give it up. I love the thok on Loki. It is so good for like anti Veronica. It's amazing. The festival I, begins. The festival begins. Well, the festival ends. Ha! Ah! Dance isn't over. And there you go. So that was that. That guy wasn't a great player. Um, that was the success over here, and then we'll go to this success. Um, so this one had the, the, the tiles in a different formation. He has bold fighter still. Uh, she has guidance still. So I think this is pretty much the same thing. They also have a Loki. So they break the a Aether stuff. Ike's on. Ike's kind of by himself. Um, I'm just gonna actually see who these units are. So. We have a plus 10 Donal, uh, which is, you know, that's a plus 10 Donal with distant counter, vantage, close defense, so really stocky Donal, I guess, 36 and 35, but I guess when you have, that's actually not too bad, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a solid thing. Uh, a plus 10 Tiki, so this guy like puts in work. This guy is a plus two and then a, just a normal uh, 
a normal Loki. And now the Vantage is ready. I don't know what happens here, so we'll see what they do. I'll bury you. I'll bury you. Good old switch. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> A bullfighter actually came in really handy here. I'm plowing through. Falling for my traps, son. I think they might lose this straight out of uh, turn count because it's taking them a while to get. Oh, and then we get Loki gets this kill. Vantage is great. Not enough though. <laughs> I sleep. I sleep. <laughs> that was when he had growing thunder still. No more. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't very necessary, though. This guy's dead anyway. Or maybe it is. No. Oh, maybe it was, actually. Sorry, Ma. It's probably an important growing thunder proc. And then... Oh, no, this guy just straight up dies. Because I bet Loki's just going to get this kill here. Yeah. Okay. And that was the second... So that wasn't too bad. Like, that was a pretty decently built team. Like, two plus tens, and then a plus two, and then a Loki, which was a bonus character here, so... Um, we'll continue with our other win, which was... Uh, over here. So this one... Is... The same... The same build. And then I actually put on a uh, res tactic here, so... Uh, I was thinking Bold Fighter wasn't great because people do want to target, it feels like they want to target him first. Uh, and she has Drive Res, right? And they want to target him first, so I thought maybe something more defensive would be better. Um, so I put a, I put Wary Fighter on him later, and I think I got a win from that too. So we'll actually just see uh, who these people are. So this is a plus 10, oh, plus 7. Oh, I just shifted the thing here. Whoopsie. So this is a plus seven, Lena. Um, they have a zero, zero, and a zero plus. They have a Narshan here who has who's decently built out, I guess. Um, Divine Mist, Tiki, and then yeah. So like Lelina's like their their leader here. So they, I think this Lelina is gonna go for Jacob. No, they're gonna break the Amphrys too. Lots of buffs coming on. Yeah, see if he if he had Wary Fighter in this, then he'd survive that. Which is kind of, which is exactly why I want I started putting it on later because him having him being able to survive and then getting healed afterwards is like really really good. Um, because that was kind of shit. And then oh, she just avoids that. I wonder what happens next. She's getting beat up. And then yeah, Fjorm dies. So it's that's like it's looking pretty bad. It's looking not too great right now. Uh yeah, not looking too great, not looking too good. But then uh Loki starts to put in a bunch of work here. <clears throat> She gets that, she gets danced, she kills Azura right quick. What a start. And then uh 
I, uh, and then she just starts going off. You will so learn your this place. was a terrible mistake because after that she she gets her to proc vantage, and then it's over because <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, man. Please win. Vantage, I think Vantage got the best of these two, and then she gets this kill. Loki again gets the kill on Narshin. And then uh, it's just a timeout at this point. It's turn seven. Olivia's AI just wants to go attack Tiki, which is whatever. <coughs> It's pretty much done. She gets healed. She proc. She goes double with the spirit breath. I proc. I live for a bit. <laughs> I'll hit you. And then I just win. So I time out that one, which is great. And that's a wrap. So there you go. Uh, I think they might have just stopped. Like they just might have like. Uh, gave up because they probably canceled after they realized well I can't keep going um, and then we're going to move on to the other two over here so we'll start a replay again so this one I changed uh, he's on wary fighter now he has wary fighter distant defense uh, she has guidance still and res tactic um, everything else is the same so we have a warrior princess warrior princess um, with flyer guidance and goad flyers, attack plus two, and then attack speed bond. Uh, we have a plus one mirror, um, a Sumia and a Veronica, uh, with the death combo here. Uh, um, what does her Pariza Lance do? Grants plus six during combat. Okay. So they break the Amphreys first. We're kind of waiting. They're breaking stuff still. They're going to go from the right. I'm getting healed again. And then I'm getting hit again. Oh, here we go. So they go for Olivia first. So they bring, they bring Hinoka up to Olivia. And they're trying to reposition out. Um, and then, boom. You just got move ployed. Sorry, kid. <laughs> so, wary fighter prevents me from getting doubled and pretty much killed here, but the savage bull is pretty painful. Um, I still have good HP, so I'm not getting doubled still. I can close counter this, which is great. And uh, as far as I can tell, she can't actually get me because she's she just got uh, ployed. So yeah, she can't really do anything. And I got and I ployed her again, which is great. I'm getting healed. She's healing. Growing Thunder does marginal damage, but it's enough to get this kill. <laughs> And they're still breaking stuff. I don't do anything. I won't lose. I feel like we either vantage out of this or we time this out. I want to say we time it out. What? It must be turn seven by now. I, we have to time this out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow they don't kill me, I guess. Yeah, turn seven. They just need to kill me. She, like, Hinoka can't move, she can't snipe me, and I survive. <laughs> like, she can't move! And then I win. It's over. That's hilarious. So, because Hinoka fell for uh, the gravity, then she couldn't move in to get, to get the kill. So, there you go. And the last one was Eclat. So Eclat had a not really well built Alphonse at all, 
a plus one cliff, a Robin with uh, like a five star Robin with uh, Keen Gronwolf and a Fort Fjorm. Um, I don't know what's going on here. He still has Growing Thunder here, but everything else is the same. So he gets gravitied. That's bad for him. He probably just gets his ass beat right now. <laughs> that cliff probably gets owned. Okay, Jacob takes this guy on. Hey, big tanks. Get out of here. We did. Enough to get a kill. Big swings. And we get vantage here. But it's clearly not enough. So Loki Loki finally dies to someone. And uh, I I don't even know what happens next. We're splitting we're splitting paths here. Just taking things on the face. I guess we timed this one out too. Um, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just trying to run away. Yeah, I, I literally think we timed this one out as well. I did it again. And that's a wrap, eh? Yeah, he didn't have a choice. He had to go in. Yeah. I guess this is it. So Wary Fighter was a very good idea. <laughs> and that's it. He couldn't keep going. So we, we win that one. Um, so that was great. So I got five in a row and then I lost two up here. Uh, this was a pretty like hard loss, honestly. Um, I actually don't even remember this what lo what kind of loss this was or what they did. Uh, all I know is that Averse is amazing. She's a bonus character, so she has crazy boosts across the board. Uh, her knight tome is like really really great um like that's a death that is a hardcore ploy like look at this it's already over <laughs> like that's brutal that is a brutal tome so like instant like all my they all become penalties I'm complete all my my most of my team is completely debuffed by that <laughs> Uh, and then like that's just that's just hardcore and like two bonus units it was over before it started uh, pretty much I don't know actually what happens here but getting a Versa got it, it's pretty bad like that tome is dead but you know we still we live in but we're getting hardcore debuffed Do we at least kill her? Yeah, see, like, if I had Bonfire... Or maybe I do have Bonfire right now, I don't remember. But we're dead. <laughs> it looks like we kill someone, there. that's the kill that we do get, okay. Brother. Mother, brother. 
That might be the one. Oh, bad. Oh, she broke the Amphrey too. I wish you didn't do that. Oh, do we get the- no, she procs the Dragon Fang. That's oh, that's shot. tough. Oh, we almost got that kill on Aversa. Damn! We almost got that kill on Aversa. That would have been like a total game changer, I think. Cause she has axes. That might have changed the entire game. Uh, probably not, that Fjorm is still beefy as hell. Um, so this was actually like not a bad loss, I'd say. Like. Well, it kind of is because we only killed one, but at least it was, at least it was almost two, I guess. And but they did they did break both my amphorids, so they got some decent points from this. But <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so I lost that one, but you lose some, you win some. And this one, we'll start this last replay here. So uh, I don't even know what happened here, but I mean just. They had a plus, I'm guessing a plus 10, or a plus 8, a plus 10, and a plus 10. So lots of beefy defense here. Let's see what they do. So at this point, she had spur res defense too, which I thought was going to be, a, which, you know, seems like a better call because we're already in such close confines anyway that guidance, I don't know, would be like a great idea. Um, so I thought the extra, the extra padding would help. Um, but so far, like, I'm not sure if it is or not. I shuffled around the tile, the defense tiles some more. Uh, but I don't really have an answer to those two beefy dragons, so I think that's probably what kind of gets the best of me here. So Loki is like always healing people. Turns, we made it to turn five, which is a lot of turns to, you know. And they ha they haven't killed a single one of my guys, so I'm wondering if they just killed everyone really, really quickly. Feast upon pumpkin. Uh -huh. Oh, we got one win. We got one kill there. But she went and killed herself. <laughs> Not a step closer. Oh, that's too bad. We could have. We almost got that Tiki as well. Yeah. They keep like they keep getting themselves to kill each other, or kill themselves, I guess. Um. I guess it's not good. Like, why wouldn't you, like why wouldn't you dance? You know, it's like, why wouldn't you just dance somebody? It's the frustrating thing with the AI. But I mean, yeah. For the people. I feel like that was a pretty close. Like that's that, like that's a to me like that's not a bad loss because it took them s like their last turn to get to get me, and there was a couple times where. Uh, it looks like we had like like he might have like panicked a little bit, but um, I, that, to me that's a good loss. Like if I brought them to seven turns, then that's fine by me. Um, 
yeah those are all like the wins and losses that was 25 minutes of like analysis there's one there's one loss that I had I think it was somewhere over here where I just took like a hardcore loss uh, I don't know where it is though but you know we start winning here and I've got like there's a, a lot more wins over there I'm really happy with my team right now I think every team has like a weakness I think every defense team is gonna have like one big weakness like that mage team like if I had vantage on my Jacob, which I was really considering having, then I would have vantage like three of their mages and I would have like ended that map in like two turns. But, uh, you know, that's why like, you know, these, this is fun because, you know, I think, I think I might be going crazy here, but like, I feel like, um, a lot of like kind of obscure skills that don't really have a place anywhere else are really going to make an impact in defense maps. Um, I think like Vantage is gonna pick up because at least for Aether like a uh, raids because um, you kind of run in there and you're you're there's lots of like offensive like offense first defense teams where they have like nukes that have no defense so if you can account for that and have a vantage on then you can like clear like three of their units before they can even like actually kill one of your guys um, also I like skills like swap and lunge uh, and drag back can be ones that can like really screw with the like with the raid with the raiding player with the raiding team because uh, lunges are one of those skills where it's like you, they always take you by surprise and I think those like those hidden B skills like vantage lunge drag back hit and run those things are I feel like are gonna be more popular in these maps just because um, it's all part of the whole mind game thing so um, yeah hopefully. Uh, I can actually pull a Makoto because the next bonus units are over here. Um, I have Azura, I have Ike, I, I can I have a, I can merge Ike t three times and get that, but I kind of want to save the the water breaths or what, what's it called? Not water breath. It's uh, uh warding breath. I want to save the warding breath. Sharina's mer Sharina has a refined weapon, so she can get good. Uh, but I would really like Makoto to be on my team. Um, I have 40 orbs. I really, I said no orb, no roll in November, but like, man. That being said, uh, Loki is still like really, really helpful. But Makoto, that would have been that, like that, that would be awesome to get Makoto. I have a dancer in Azura, but honestly, I feel like I'm still gonna stick with Olivia just because the skull is like a really, really good sword and the effect is amazing. Um, and I don't have, I don't, I'm not really interested in getting the Corins or Camilla. So yeah, I'm gonna try to change up my defense team soon. Uh, change it up. And this was 28 minutes of reviewing my own defense map and finding the flaws and everything. So I hope you guys maybe have learned something. Um, I definitely do enjoy uh, reviewing replays of the of my wins and my losses. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.